what's up guys, Software Dev Jason here. Um, so just to begin with, I'm narrating this video uh, because what I'm actually talking about in the video is irrelevant um, to what this actual video is about, if that makes sense. And the purpose of this video is to kind of demonstrate uh, a couple things. One, uh, an accident that happened or a crash or wreck that happened when we were riding recently. And so I, the purpose of this video is to kind of demonstrate the importance of, of having gear on, um, no matter kind of what you're doing, because you know, that's a rule that I don't follow very often, and I probably should. Um, and that low speed, you know, really simple uh, crashes, the kind that happen all the time when you're riding dirt bikes, um, you know, they can, um, you know, they can, they can hurt you. And so, um, yeah, to begin with, this is, well, you can see I just did something stupid there and was looking over my shoulder to see where the people I'm riding with um, were at, and I ran into a ditch, which was pretty dumb. Um, anyway, uh, I'm riding with my, my niece and my dad in this video, but um, the purpose of, you know, this day out riding was to, uh, to get my dad familiar with dirt bikes again. Um, he rode dirt bikes when he was young, you know, uh, when he was a teenager and whatnot, uh, but he hasn't been on a dirt bike or motorcycle in, in quite a few years besides maybe 10 or 15 minutes he spent at my house on my uh, CRF 230. And so we took a trip and this was kind of his uh, reintroduction uh, to riding dirt bikes um, after being off them for, for quite a few years. So um, the, the other main reason for this was to get um, to test the CRF 250L stock suspension uh, because I have some upgrades on the way for that bike and I wanted to get some, some off-road experience with this bike, you know, basically a whole day of riding off-road uh, and hopefully get to some of the gnarly parts of these, this trails, these trails of Brown Mountain with the stock suspension to kind of really highlight the weaknesses of it. Um, and uh, I guess to get one, one final ride in uh, at Brown Mountain before it closes for the winter. Um, so, so before we actually get to the, the, the wreck that happens in this video, um, a couple mistakes that I made right off the bat, uh, were, uh, starting a, what I would call, classify as a beginner at Brown Mountain. And my dad's rode motorcycles before when he was younger, but he hasn't been on them in a while. Uh, certainly not without, you know, heavy motocross boots and full gear. You know, he's putted around my backyard a few times, but, you know, for like five minutes. Uh, but with all the gear and stuff... You know, he's, yeah, I would definitely classify him as a beginner on a dirt bike. So uh, this is not the place to start a beginner, even with uh, even on the easy trails. The other problem I had is that I started that this. I have three different riders here with three different skill levels. My niece there is a motor. She races motocross. Uh, she is really competitive. She wants to go fast all the time. She doesn't like, care about the scenery on the trails. All she wants to do is haul ass on that little two-stroke. Um, and we have three different riding styles. So, yeah, right here is actually where we, this is just a little rock face. It's really, um, it's really simple rock face. Um, this kind of, this kind of started the problem here. My dad, I think he fumbled with the, the gear shifter a little bit and got turned sideways because my niece stalled on the rock face with her two stroke. Um, she stalled down there about halfway up the rock face. Um, it doesn't, all right, now here he comes. He lost all his momentum coming around the turn. He's probably in first, and there he goes. Um, he just gave way too much gas. Yeah. So. Yeah, way too much gas. Just popped a wheelie. Put one leg down. Yep. Extended that leg. Back bike came back on it. Um, the foot was down in a bad spot on this heel. And but you know. This is a kind of wreck that you have. I've had a dozen wrecks that probably look just like this, if not worse. And I never got hurt, never broke a broke a bone or anything. Um, but this is just kind of a freak accident. And it just the bad positioning with his foot when he brought it down, it just, you know, it caused problems here. It's um, it's not something that happens to everybody. And here, at this point, we've, we've discovered that he can't ride the bike anymore. He's on the back with me on the uh, CRF 250L. My niece is on the uh, the CRF 230 
writing it down. We left the KTM 65 up on the mountain. Uh, so the, yeah, this is this is the footage of me when my dad's behind me. We're riding two up, trying to come down the mountain. Um, he luckily I, I kept the passenger pegs on this bike, um, so he was able to put his feet up there. But he, he you know he could put no pressure on it. And my dad's a pretty tough guy, so uh, I know he wasn't faking it. He was trying to play it off and trying to let us continue riding and stuff. But and unlock the door, huh? Going right. uh, we're going up to get a bike. Then need to up. Dad, if you got a broken leg, you're not just going riding. He just took all the pressure off of it. Oh, God damn. No. I'll make you pass oh, out. Yeah, it moved. <coughs> Don't take it off in. Don't take yeah, it off. So Hold at, on. at this point, um, here's some pictures of the aftermath. Uh, it's really simple wreck, but caused some some serious problems. Um, two days, two and a half days at the hospital. Uh, it's about 15 screws and pins in the leg, broken three places.